Hello, and welcome to the online edition of Nightwatch for May 2022. My name is Bill, coming to you from the Sudicum Planetarium here at Adventure Science Center in Nashville. And we do have a big event happening this month, a total lunar eclipse. So let's start off with the moon phases for this month, as always. We'll have first quarter moon on the 8th, full moon and the night of that eclipse on the 15th, last quarter moon on the 22nd, and new moon on the 30th. Let's briefly take a quick look at what's currently in our evening sky at around 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Looking up high, nearly overhead, and heading a little bit toward the west, we do have the constellation Leo still with us, marked by his heart star, Regulus. And just about overhead and getting up high, we do have Vuotis the herdsman, marked by the yellowish-orange colored star in the sky, Arcturus, which is down below the Big Dipper, a little bit more toward the north, but still up high in the sky. In our morning sky, we do have our gathering of four planets. About 90 minutes before sunrise, you can catch a glimpse of Venus, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. As we take a look at these views on the 1st, the 15th, and the 30th of the month, we see how Jupiter will be passing by the planet Venus, as it gets up higher in the sky, passing by Mars and approaching Saturn. That'll occur later on during the year. We find the moon will be passing below the planet Saturn on the 22nd, below Mars and Jupiter on the 25th, and below Venus on the 26th. Watch for those conjunctions of the moon and those planets on those early mornings. Let's now move on to the total eclipse of the moon occurring on the night of May 15th and going into the morning of May 16th. Some of you might recall the partial eclipse of the moon, which was almost total last November, but that one was in the wee morning hours before sunrise and it was frigid, cold, and windy in the Nashville area. However, this eclipse is a little bit earlier, occurring in the later evening hours and will be ending shortly after the midnight hour. Let's take a look at the phases of this eclipse as we watch this simulation as we speed up time. The penumbral phases of the eclipse will begin at 8.32. This is when the moon is passing into the Earth's outer shadow and really won't be visible at all. The partial phases begin, which is really noticeable, at 9.27 p.m. This will be the point where it will start looking like, if you're looking through a pair of binoculars, uh, somebody took a little bite out of the moon. And that bite will get larger and larger as the moon slides into the Earth's shadow. Totality begins as the moon is completely immersed in the Earth's shadow at 10.29 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The middle of the eclipse, when the moon will be deepest in the Earth's shadow, will be at 11.11 p.m. Then the moon will begin to move toward the edge of the Earth's shadow and totality will end just before midnight at 11.53 p.m. Then the moon will continue to slide out of the Earth's shadow and the partial phases will end at 12.55 a.m. just before 1 o'clock in the morning. And that's basically the end of the eclipse. The penumbral phases end, which are not really visible, at 1.50 in the morning. 
You might wonder, when is the next eclipse of the moon? Well, there will be another total lunar eclipse later on this year, on November 8th. Now again, this will be a total eclipse and it will be visible over Nashville. However, that one will occur between about 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. just before sunrise. Now don't forget, if you can't remember everything I've mentioned during this online edition of Nightwatch, check out our online star chart at adventuresci.org slash starcharts where you can download a copy of our current star chart as well as gather more information about what's happening in the sky this month. Also don't forget Adventure Science Center is open Thursdays through Mondays and we do have planetarium shows here at the Sudicum Planetarium each day so check out our schedule at adventuresci.org be sure to check out some of our live sky shows, pre-recorded programs here at the Pseudicum Planetarium, and our dazzling laser light shows. From all of us here at the Adventure Science Center and Pseudicum Planetarium, I want to thank you for listening to this online edition of Nightwatch. Again, my name is Bill, and I thank you for listening, and have clear skies.